Baltimore's brand new Eventorium Broadcasting Nationwide. Talent staff will be on hand from every major record label, and sponsoring the event will be none other than our own Ultra Clutch Hairspray. So let's give a great big morning Baltimore salute to the president of Ultra Clutch, Aram F. Spritzer. We'll be crowning your choice from his Teenage Hairspray 1962. My big break! Oh, isn't she a lovely slim girl? Well, I guess Anne is pretty, but she can dance. Plastic little spastic. <laughs> oh my god, look! I'm gonna kill myself! She's wearing Link Larkin's castle ring. Hey gang! Don't forget to watch Mom and Me next Thursday on Mother Dogger Turday. <laughs> <laughs> what of unexpected Adley, Amber? And speaking of expecting the unexpected, our own fun-loving, freewheeling Brenda will be taking a little leave of absence from the show. How long will you be gone, Brenda? Nine months. <laughs> so it seems we'll have an opening for a girl who's just as fun-loving, but maybe not quite as freewheeling. <laughs> Want to be one of the nicest kids in town? Come school tomorrow and come on down to station WCCT to audition. Oh my God! For anything. There will be no cutting school in this house. But Mrs. Turnblad. Penny, go and tell your mother she wants you. She does. Mm -hmm. Oh, I better hurry. Bye, Mrs. Turnblad. Bye, Tracy. Hey, whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Rush out of traffic. <laughs> ah. <coughs> Hi, ladies. Hey, since I got that new shipment of exploding bubble gum, business downstairs is exploding. <laughs> 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 How am I too funny, honey? No, oh, you're the funny one, Wilma. Yeah. How am I too funny, honey's over here? <laughs> Daddy, <clears throat> tomorrow I'm auditioning to dance on a TV show. You are going to have to go further than that to get around me, young lady. And what have I told you about that hair? I'll wrap it up like a teenage Jezebel. Mother, you are so 50s. Even our first lady, Jackie B. Kennedy, wraps her hair. Yeah, well... You ain't no first lady, are you? She's a hair hopper, that's what she is. And it got her put in detention again. <sighs> well, uh, talk to her. Girls like Tracy, people like us. You know what I'm saying? Well, they don't put people like us on television except to be laughed at. Uh, Tracy, this, this, this TV thing, you really want it? It's my dream, Daddy. Then you go for it! Oh, what? <laughs> this is America, you gotta think big to be big. Being big is not the problem, Wilbur. Yeah. When I was your age, my parents begged me to run away to the circus. But I said, no, that's what you want. Yeah. I had dreams of my own. I dreamt about a chain of jokes right the way around the world. Yeah. Okay, I've only got one, but you know, someday when I figure out how to keep the air from leaking out of my sofa-sized whoopee cushion. <laughs> I'm gonna make a noise her around the world. <laughs> you follow your dream, baby. I'm uh, grabbing an orange crush, heading back down to the hardy horror hut. I got my dream, and I love it. <laughs> you are not helping, Wilbur. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Tracy, tell all the turn blind where do you think you're going? Come back up here. I've got hampers of laundry to finish, and my diet pill is wearing off. <laughs> You want to be famous. Yeah. Learn how to get blood out of car upholstery. Now that is a skill you can take straight to the bank. <laughs> you think I wanted to spend my life washing and ironing other people's clothing? No. I wanted to design them. <coughs> Thought I was going to be the biggest thing in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, well, be careful what you wish for. Now, <laughs> stop talking. Oh! But all I was doing was watching Courtney Collins over at Tracy. Didn't I forbid you from listening to race music? Oh, if the police ever locate your father, he'll punish you good. Your dancing was atrocious today, Amber. Now I am willing to lie, cheat, and steal to win you that Miss Hasbro ground. But you've got to work with me. Now, let me act that zit. Stop. That is no way to treat clean clothes. 
One day you will own Edna's Occidental Laundry. Will you ever be ready? I hope not. Don't contradict me. Don't disobey me. Don't even think about going to that audition. Please! No! Touched me. 
He looked at me and stared, yes, he thumped me. My heart was unprepared when he tapped me and knocked me up my feet. One little touch, now my life's complete. Cause when he nudged me, love put me in a fix, yes, it hit me. Just like a ton of bricks, yes, my heart burst. Now I know what life's about. Miss Baltimore, Brad. It's always been 
Operation is the new frontier. Not in Baltimore, it isn't. Um, where's Corny? I'd love to dance for him. I'm the producer. And may I be frank? First impressions have been tough. When I saw you, I knew it. If your signs were enough, your last dance would just blew it. So, my dear, so short and stout, you know. Sophomores at heart. I'm honored to be your guest 
DJ here at PP, ain't ya? So, with no further ado, do let's do do some dancing. Yeah, it's the hottest dance around, and it's a boy right here in Baltimore. What's he called, kids? And where'd you see it first? Okay, so let's form two big strong lines. It's medicine time.
Oh, but she looks marvelous. <laughs> uh, Tracy? Oh! God. Oh! The world is moving. <laughs> oh! Let's wave a wistful bye-bye to Brenda. See you next year. And inaugurate the newest member of our council, Tracy Turnblad. Cozy up to old Corny and tell us about yourself, Tracy. Well? I go to Patterson Park High, I watch your show, and I do absolutely nothing else. And someday I'd like to be the first female president of the world, or a rocket. You've got to think big to be big. And if you were a president, what would your first official act be? Well, I'd make every day Negro Day. Oh! Oh, I too much models, headlines, Trace. What do you say, kids? Looks like we might have a hot new candidate for Miss Teenage Hairspray. No! She's the before in the Metro Cal Diet app, and I'm the after. And afters always win. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, what a comedian. So, Tracy, tell us true. How'd you like Link Larkin to sing a song just for you? No! He can't! Because everyone knows that whenever he sings, he sings to me. It's completely involved with me. See? <laughs> right. So, Tracy, tell us true. How'd you like Link Larkin to sing a song just for you? Would I? Would I? People are ignoring the laws of nature! Link Larkin, our very own budding Elvis, will now sing to the equally blooming Tracy Turnblad his version of this week's Top 40 hit. It takes two. Chubby girls by hairspray too, Mr. Spritzer. This 
Mrs. Von Toschel, how do you plan to handle this? Uh, I plan to start by firing him. You can't fire Coney Collins from the Coney Collins show. Well, why not? We do it all the time on Lassie. <laughs> Mr. Spritzer, to keep your audience, you've got to keep up with the times. This show's fine the way it is. Bringing Tracy on is just the beginning. I got terrific ideas for updating the show. I think I'm getting one of my sick headaches. Is there a place I might like out? There's a bed in my office. <laughs> You got ideas, do you? I'm going behind my back to put this no talent comedy on the show as one of them? Damn right, Velma. Well, it's time we put kids on the show who look like the kids who watch the show. Not while I'm producing it. Well, I was thinking it might be time to change that, too. Are you threatening me, Collins? <laughs> you know me, Velma. <laughs> oh, on the other hand, I could always take the show to Channel 11. Mother. 
Oh, hon, if that's what you want, then I'll be right by your side, and together we'll claw your way to the top. But can't we do it over the phone? I haven't left this apartment since Mamie Eisenhower rolled her oats and bobbed her back. Hey, Mama, hey, Mama, look around. Everybody's grooving to a brand new sound. Hey, Mama, hey, Mama, follow me. I know something's in you that you want to set free. So I go, go, go up the past now. Say hello to the love in your heart.
My mom's pitching a platter party at our record shop on North Avenue. Uh, you want to come check it out? I too <coughs> feel not good. May I also come check it out? <laughs> you surely can. I've never been to North Avenue before. Would it be safe up there for, you know, us? Uh, don't worry, Cracker Boy, it's cool. What do you think, Link? I think getting to know you is the beginning of a whole lot of adventures. <gasps>
What are you doing? I waited for you under the bleachers halfway through the JD track meet. I saw you getting on the North Avenue bus. I followed you. See my new car. Have your blast. Come jump in. I saw. Where are they? Yeah. Who was the kids I saw? Where are they? Eric and Star! Mama, what are you doing here? Oh, I had a sudden craving for chicken and waffles, so we drove up to Ruby's takeout across the way. Hello! Hello, everyone! Hello! I'm Tracy's mom. <laughs> oh, so you're what spawned that. Saturday night is everything I've worked for. I'm not gonna throw it away. Come on, I'm leaving him. You gotta go too. No! I want to do this and so should you. It's what's right. Think. Stay. Please. Sorry. But you and me together. I was just starting to think. 
Anything? Sure, me too, but I don't know. It's getting too complicated, and I'm still Amber. See you, little darling. I'm sorry, Tracy. Just shine through. 